everyone, Mary Berger with Computer Diva. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the most frequent questions I get from my customers, and that is, I can't get out to the internet, what do I do? How do I fix it? Depending on the part of the country you live in, you're going to have a different type of internet modem. Um, there's two different types of main types of internet connection lines, and that would be a cable connection or a DSL line. In Computer Diva headquarters, we have a cable connection. I am using, uh, we have a cable connection with Comcast, and I've got an Xfinity modem here. It's one of the latest generation modems, and right now it's up and operational. You might also have, um, if you buy your own, you might have one of these Motorola surfboard modems. Um, the latest generation of modems have um, what is called DOCSIS technology in it. Um, it used to be the old generation was DOCSIS 2, but the most current generation is DOCSIS 3. And basically what that means is it's just technology that gives you the fast speeds. If you have a DOCSIS 2 modem, you might want to consider upgrading to a DOCSIS 3. Comcast has been systematically going through all their customers the past 18 months or so and offering them free upgrades if they rent a modem. And uh, that's what I've got here. And uh, so basically, when you lose your internet connection, there's two things you can do. So I'm going to take myself off camera a little bit and just focus on the modem now. The first thing I tell my customers to do when they've lost their internet connection is to just go down here to the bottom where the power cord is, here's your power cord, pull it out for just a few seconds and then just push it back in and make a strong connection there. What will happen is the modem will start to reboot and as you can see here we have a power light um, and it takes about two minutes for these modems to fully reboot themselves. So my advice to you is once you plug that power cable back in, have a little patience, wait for two minutes. The next lights you're going to see come on is most likely the Wi-Fi light, indicating that the Wi-Fi has been reactivated. Then up here we're going to have the connection light. And uh, once you have all four of these lights back on, that means your modem is totally rebooted and it's okay to go ahead and try your internet connection again. If you also have your phone service through your cable or your DSL company, you might also have a phone light down here, and that means you also have a phone line plugged into the modem in the back here. So you want to wait until all of these lights, all four of these lights, are fully on and possibly the phone light until you try your internet connection again. So if you find that power cycling your modem, the act of pulling out the power cord and plugging it back in and waiting two minutes, if that doesn't fix your internet connection, there's one more thing you can do before you actually have to call in the big guns. Um, there is, at the top of this particular modem, and it's going to be on the back of this one as well, and you'll have the same thing for a DSL modem if you have those, there's going to be a little pinhole reset. And on my particular modem here, it actually has the word reset on it. And I'm going to throw up a, a picture on the screen in a few minutes for you to see because um, we, we actually can't get close enough to see that. But it's just a little pinhole. And what I do is I take a paper clip, just a standard ordinary paper clip, and I go ahead and I push it here in this pinhole reset. And I'm actually going to turn on a flashlight so I can see this. I actually think that the manufacturer should make the backs of these modems um, a different color so you can see. But right up here at the top is the pinhole reset. And let me do this. I put the paper clip in and I hold, I push and I hold it down for 30 seconds. Basically what that does is it's going to reset the modem. Um, it doesn't reset it back to factory defaults and erase all your programming. It just resets the modem, kind of clears out the cobwebs. Um, so I'm going to let go, and the same thing will happen. It's going to go through a full reboot, and once you have the four lights and possibly your phone light lit here, then you know you can go back and try the internet access. If you still don't have a connection after that, then most likely it's time to call the cable or DSL modem companies and let them know that you're having an issue, and, uh, and they, they will be able to try and connect to these modems remotely and see if there's an issue. A lot of times it could be a problem with the line outside your house. 
it could be a problem with the modem itself and they might want to send you a new modem and replace it. If you actually are purchasing your own modem, you own the modem because you've bought it at some point in time, they may tell you, I'm sorry, we can't help you troubleshoot that because it's not our modem. You might have to bring in someone like myself or possibly buy a new modem, especially if you have older technology. So there you have it, two quick tips on how to get your internet access back up and running in no time at all. If you have any questions, feel free to put a comment down below or email me at mary at computerdiva.biz. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day.